also through design of uh, uh, incentives. What we have done in Singapore, just to share with everyone, is we've designed a program where we make payments to end users to reduce demand when required by the system. We call it demand response. We're not the only country in the world doing this. And I think even Sharjah led the way last year with the uh, peak hour. Um, and what we see is with a commercial incentive, there's naturally a driver to evaluate uh, to evaluate sorry, the opportunity. So when we look at demand in a building like a hotel, typically it's what's listed on the bill. So many kilowatt hours for the month. What we try to do is dissect that into two uh, segments, what's discretionary and what's not discretionary. See, uh, as a country, I mean, every problem is an opportunity. So we are facing from the talks what we had, it's a huge problem what we are facing. So uh, the, the challenges uh, what we have today is how to reduce the consumption. So uh, every, uh, as uh, further to my previous uh, discussion, what we spoke about uh, how to reduce uh, consumption culture. So the, the smart grid that provides, uh, you know, power distribution uh, into industries and residential applications a few years back, uh, Dubai came up with a, with a system uh, like uh, prepaid meters. So this is a voluntary regulation by itself. It's like a prepaid telephone system uh, where you say that, okay, you set your limit for consumption and then uh, you once you reach that uh, limit parameters, then it gives you an alert that this is the maximum you have consumed. And then it gives you, make you conscious that uh, your uh, meter is on, maximum. So we have a lot of uh, opportunities uh, where we can uh, do by doing minor modifications in residential uh, as well as uh, industrial applications. For example, what we have done in our uh, industry is that in all the machines we have, uh, we have installed uh, variable speed drives, which has reduced the consumption by 30%. Renewable energy sources in today's market, is it opportunity or necessity towards the energy efficiency? Um, I think everybody talks about smart. Everybody becomes more smart. Everybody has a smartphone but we still have a very resilient level of ignorance when it comes to change, so this gap needs to be closed. But this is a, a more lengthy discussion, but uh, everybody can do and it comes down to the individual. Now, smart cities is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a very interesting uh, development and uh, now the issue is how can we fill smart cities with life? Um, now we have smart, we want to have smart cities, smart communities, we have smart people, but we also need smart buildings. I said, I said this on purpose uh, because uh, I read uh, some time ago a study that uh, energy goes, one third goes to transportation, one third goes to industry, one third goes to buildings. So transportation is fuel driven, industry uh, is electricity or, or natural gas or whatever, but that's more easy to control. What are the opportunities globally and especially in this region, Middle East region and UAE? Comparing to the uh, opportunities, uh, when I spoke about the challenges, coming to the opportunities uh, for this region, in fact, already this region has started using uh, many of the uh, best practices uh, when it comes to energy management. Now, let's, uh, one important aspect where uh, we have gone a little, uh, you know, uh, we have started uh, progressing is on the uh, measurement and verification uh, practices. Uh, it depends on the end user because uh, the measurement and verification uh, incurs an amount of cost. Now, based on his application, he can decide uh, what kind of uh, an energy management that he needs to uh, define, whether it is based on certain uh, key parameters 
or it is based on uh, total parameters or he wants to do it for the entire facility. Because these are the three main MNV uh, options which are available for the end user to um, define what level of energy saving or energy management he needs to uh, reach. Congratulations to Dr. Rashid Alim for a great achievement, the book which uh, we have received today. It is really uh, a book which we, as all professionals, we have to think that how we are going to achieve these goals. These are the goals which we need to achieve 2030 vision. It's a, it's a great achievement. I would like to invite Engineer Doreb Ibrahim from SIVA. Mr. Dalonke from Singapore. Mr. Lalu Samuel, Chairman and CEO of Kingston Holdings. Engineer Rudolf Adunger, CEO Equa Engineering Austria. Mr. Krishna Aris, General Manager, Alkandi Electronics, Dubai.